Um, I was talking to an American pal the other day who used to run home from school yeah. to try and catch the soap and then yeah. watch the reruns with his son. I just wondered when you first came across the show yourself as a youngster. Yeah, in well, I was the same. I mean, it was a strange phenomenon. I mean, it, what, it, it became kind of a catchphrase. You know, you'd run home from school to watch it. And, and I was one of those kids. And I think it's because it's such a strange thing, you know. And also anything to avoid homework, we'd all go for that. But it was, you know, this weird gothic soap opera you know, in Burbank, yeah, wherever you were, but I happened to be in Burbank, and you'd go home in the afternoon, this strange thing. So it was very memorable, and I think it stuck with the, the people that were around at the time, it kind of stuck with them. And was it, what was it that made you want to bring that material out of the shadows and onto the big screen? Well, it was funny, it was the first time I think that Johnny ever, uh, you know, we talk. We always talk about weird cultural phenomenons, and we were both fans of Dark Shadows. But I realized that Barnabas was a character that I think he's always, even before he became an actor, dreamed about playing. So you know, it was a special thing for him. I think to to, to you know, very meaningful character that he I think always wanted to play. And being a soap, I imagine it might have been quite tempting to have created some kind of pastiche. But it's almost more a love letter to the TV series, having seen some of it myself. Well, yeah, you don't want to remake the TV because you can't, and you wouldn't want to. It was about it's a strange thing to try to do, but it was like, for me, it was more about trying to capture the feeling of how I remember feeling and watching the show. You know what I mean? It was more about that and, uh, than about doing it. So what did you enjoy about introducing some of those soap elements, like the entrances from the stairs and the characters yeah. turn away from each other? That kind yeah, of yeah, I love that. Well, that, that to me, you know, I mean, it's again, it's like you, you're making something that, that, that's not like a normal Hollywood movie that way. You know, I mean, people walking into their own close up. So, you know, you're trying to do what you loved about the soap, which in some ways is kind of cheesy, but at the same time, you know, you're making a movie. So it, it was a weird balance to, to, it was a weird tone to try to create. But that's what I love. I love the mixture of tones. For me, that's what makes it exciting. And you've said that casting is kind of like a puzzle. How did the pieces of this particular puzzle fit together this time around? Well, I drove the casting director nuts because I kept saying, no, that person's not very dark shadow. You know, so I had this weird kind of dark shadows vibe in my mind where I couldn't really quite put it into words. But that's, you know, it's like when I met everybody, I said, yes. You know, when I met Eva, I said, that's it, no question. She's Angel, you know. And Michelle, I was lucky, because I hadn't talked to her like in 20 years, you know, after she did Catwoman, and I loved her. I loved that performance, but I hadn't spoken to her like in 20 years, but then she called out of the blue and revealed herself to be a Dark Shadows, closet Dark Shadows fan. And Alice Cooper makes a brilliant um, appearance in the yeah. film. How long have you been a fan of her work and why was she so right for the well, movie? Yeah. <laughs> it's an in-joke from the film. In case you <laughs> uh, she's been a big influence on my life, yes. No, we, no, again, growing up at that time, and the music was, as you know, was very all over the place, you know. It's quite a weird range of music at the time. Uh, but Alice Cooper was an inspiration because you know that spoke to me even at that time. You know he was kind of a unique individual at that at that uh, of his of that time. So he was a good kind of you know symbol for the movie in a way. And with Leavesden going strong and you being no stranger to Pinewood, where you make this movie, what do you think is particularly um, great about shooting in the UK, the, the arts and crafts here? Well, you know, I did. I came here like in 1987 to do Batman, and 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 uh, you know, I felt immediately at home, and I just felt like you know, you you feel like you're less in a business, like the movie business, and you're more into the art of making a film, you know. And it's it, that, I appreciate that, and I, that's the joy for me is making the film, and you know, seeing the sculptures and the set, the painters and the, the you know, I mean, that to me, that's the energy of film. Tim Burton, thanks very much. Congratulations on Dark Shadows. Thanks, man. Thank, Thank you. you.